All right, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy, Original Dog Man, John Castle. Let me move this little packet out the way. And I'm going to talk to you about the roast now. This is the second part to this video. And now the roast, and I'm going to try to show it to you because I got my camera on the charger. And I want it to die. I'm going to show you how tender this roast has gotten. I got two roasts in one crock pot. I cooked it, two roasts in one crock pot. And let's see if I can show you best I can. This is the roast right now. Let me put this down right here. And this is the roast, okay? It's been about maybe two and a half hours later. I got two roasts in one crock pot. As you can see, the roast is trying to come apart right now. If you can pull it apart with the with the um with the tongs, it's almost just about ready. The one in the bottom is a little bit tougher, but check this out. Watch this. You can almost pull it apart with the tongue. Oh, did it just come apart? Did it just come apart? I'm going to show you guys something. Let's try it again. Let's see if it's going to pull apart with just the tongue. All right. Let's see. Oh, it's almost trying to come apart. Here we go. Let's try this part here. Let's see. So this is the outer layer, so it should be close. Oh, it, look. Oh, it came apart. Ladies and gentlemen, it came apart. There it is. Put it to the side, and then I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to show you guys something how tender this fucking roast just got. All right? So, put this phone up here. Without dropping it in the damn crock pot. Now, I'm not going to eat it, but I'm going to do something that you might think is disgusting, but it's, it's a, I'm going to prove a point, okay? Now, I'm going to put it in my mouth, and I'm going to chew it a few times. All right? One, two, three. That's it. Now watch how it, how it came apart. It's crazy, but it's fucking tender. It just pulls apart. There it is. There it is. Just holding it, pulling it a little bit apart. There it is. It is that tender, man, that it has come apart. Look. It's not tough. About another hour, it'll be really tender, melt melting your fucking mouth like. My, you might be, find that disgusting. I don't give a fuck what you guys think. Just showing you the facts. Here's another piece right here. Melt my fucking mouth. D fucking delicious. Best fucking roast ever. And I just swallowed that motherfucker. It tastes good. Clean that sink out later. All right. So that's my video. This roast is almost ready. I actually can turn this roast off. I'll put it now. I'll put it on low. And it'll be ready in an hour. It'll be ready to eat with some rice or some potato salad or some mashed potatoes. That's it. You don't need to add anything else to this roast. Now, here's the kicker with this roast. This roast, you can use the sauce. Because it's not a gravy, it's a, it's like a it's like a a sauce, like an au jus sauce. Okay, you can take it and you can make you a roast beef sandwich or some toasted French bread or something or toasted hoagie and dip it in this au jus sauce and eat it like that. Or you can take this sauce and actually make French onion soup with it. Put it on a small pot. Take the juice of the sauce, and I'm gonna show you. Watch this. Let me show you again, because this isn't a thick gravy. You see the sauce? You see the juice here? You see all the bell peppers and the onions and the garlic in it? There's a garlic right there. You see that? You can take all this and make you an au jus sauce for an au jus sauce for your French, um, for your roast beef dip. Or make you French onion um French onion soup with put a cut a cut some onions put it in a pot with this then put it in a bowl or a cup and put you some toasted French bread in the inside of it put some Swiss cheese over it put some Parmesan cheese on it put it in a microwave for like 20 seconds and melt the cheese there's your French on uh, French onion soup or you can take this sauce and make a, a thicker gravy and do some roast beef po' boys. You don't know what roast beef po' boys is. You guys have never been to New Orleans. You can cut this up. 
cut this up, chop it up, and take that gravy, put it on a pan, and put some flour in it, and make like a, a thicker gravy with it, and you can make you uh, uh, roast beef po' boys with this. So this is why this is the best roast. You can take any other roast from any other people. I've seen one of my exes put red wine in. This shit was nasty. I've seen other people take their roast because it didn't taste that good later days down the road and add mustard to that shit. I'm like, who the fuck does that, man? Who the fuck fucks up a good roast? I'm like, so here's my challenge to all of you um, people in, in the in fragrance community. I challenge every last one of you motherfuckers to make this roast and then tell me that it tastes nasty. I challenge every last one of you motherfuckers to make this roast and then tell me it tastes nasty. I dare you to. I challenge DB. I challenge you, Miss Jacqueline. I challenge... Though this is the fragrance community, all you guys are all about fragrance, switching shit up, man. We're going to have some... Fuck that. Switch it up for, for a minute. For a second in FragCon. All right? The aroma from this is fragrance enough to talk about it in the fragrance group. All right? So I challenge Eugene, you and your wife. I challenge Ashton, you and your wife. Joey Cannoli, you and your wife. Because Juju is your fucking wife. Um, I challenge Miami Cuddles, you and you and yourself. I challenge DB, you and your wife. Who else I challenge um, in this fragrance group? Any of you couples who cook for each other, make this and tell me you don't like this motherfucker. I dare you to. I dare you to. Peace the fuck out.